Let's take a look at the Scratch source code. We'll go to the page and we'll download the zip. This is what it looks like. You get a folder and this is the contents of the folder. We've got a nice image, sources file, changes file. This is all pretty similar to what you've got in Scratch. Typically you start Scratch by double clicking it. Um, we can start it another way. We can drag the image over the virtual machine like that. Now for us to look at the source code of Scratch, we'll do the same thing with the image we just downloaded. So there's the Scratch application and on the background, in the background there are some other things. This is something called a browser that's something called a workspace. And you're probably pretty familiar with the way Scratch looks already. So let's highlight everything in the workspace and delete it. We'll type in Movie Player Morph New Open in World. The world is the background. We'll highlight that, then we'll select do it. Bang, there's our movie player without a movie. So we can drag that to the stage of um, Scratch and we'll move the cat. We can select it by pressing either Alt click or Command click and you keep doing that drilling down until you actually get to the player and then you can grab it and move it around. But we need a movie file. So I put a movie file um, in a place where you can get it. This is one of my uh, websites, Sushi Store Objects, just a place where I store stuff. Um, I'll go through the process of downloading it. This movie file is really old because the scratch image that you're looking at is a very old image of Squeak, about 10 years old really. Uh, it's Squeak 2.8 I believe and Squeak has moved on to Squeak 3.11 so we're looking at uh, like I keep saying a very old version of Squeak and so we're using an old I think it's an MPEG-1 I mean this isn't much of a movie but uh, it'll work so we press open and then select castle.mpeg we can command click alt click move the player up again, choose menu to turn on repeat so it repeats itself over and over and press play. It's not much without the sound but it does work. So that's exciting. Why don't we save that to our project and see what happens. I'm sure you've saved lots of projects and uploaded them to the, uh, the Scratch site. So it says, save failed, unknown class, movie player morph. Well, that's kind of funny. What's going on? Go back to our workspace, and that's, uh, it says we can't save, can't find the movie player morph. But if we go to the browser, click the button up there and ask for find class, we can type in movie player morph, and there it is but Scratch can't find it. Curiouser and curiouser. Welcome to Scratch Hacking.